morning or good afternoon it is one o'clock and today is the day that we leave for disney we're still in debate whether or not we're going to leave right when jared gets off of work around seven eight nine in that area or if we're going to go ahead and take a nap and sleep until like two or three and get up and leave then the car is mostly already packed i'll go through that whenever i get home but i've got to run up town and grab a few more things i need to grab the memory cards for our camera just like just a handful more things that i could probably grab on the way to florida but you know we are gonna just go ahead and get those out of the way so it's off of our list and then i'm gonna come back home i'm gonna try to take a nap i'm gonna try to get as much rest as i can just because we will be driving through the night and into the morning today is all about prepping and and finishing up the last bits of packing before we drive to Walt Disney World. We live in Louisiana and our drive is around 12 if you add a toddler grand 14 hour ride. We've done it once with Shepard before. It's kind of a double-edged sword as he gets older the more he's able to be entertained but also the more he wants out of his car seat. The more he's able to to get bored i guess is what i'm saying we're just gonna try to do our best i've got all kinds of stuff packed in here and i'm heading to walmart to grab just a couple of things i've never done a video like this but i have the whole day to myself shepherd is with jared's mom right now taking a nap she's been he's been in the whole day with her so that i can be focused and restful and just try to be really intentional with the time that i have before we go so this morning i woke up grabbed a shower painted my nails because they were so gross i'm a hairdresser and so my nails get stained like nasty ugly like tinted brown colors just from toners and colors so I painted my nails skipped makeup today just because that's not something I want to have to worry about today I don't want to have to worry about taking it off and then I spent some time with Jesus because that is honestly I can sleep all day long but that is where my soul finds rest and so I spent some time with Jesus I read the book of Esther which I've always wanted to do and I had never done before so I read the book of Esther she is a brave leader and she was a very bold uh, um, voice for the Jewish people. It was fun to learn about her. I love her name. <laughs> Me and Jared have always loved the name Esther. Now I'm trying to read the book of Ruth. There's only two books in the Bible that are actually named after women and it is Esther and Ruth. So uh, I'm reading the two women books in the Bible that are named after women. Anyways, let's head to Walmart and grab the last bit of stuff we need to head to Disney and then we'll come back home and I'll show you what I grabbed and I will show you what we have packed in the car for a 12 plus <laughs> our road trip with a toddler. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Sorrow and the old ways get washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on. Okay, I'm back home and I am just hanging out trying to figure out what I need to do next. So I'm just sitting down for a second trying to regroup and just get everything laid out in my brain so I don't forget something because Jerry gets off late and I'm trying to have everything done and planned out by the time that he gets home so we can just either sleep and go or just straight go. But I am back from Walmart and I will show you the couple of things that I grabbed for Shepard. I know it probably will seem like a little bit much, but Shepard doesn't get new toys almost ever. So when we do go on road trips or we go to fly or we do anything like that, that's usually my time to get him something new. One of the greatest pieces of advice I can give any of you who are traveling with a little one is to provide them with some type of new entertainment. They might love the same show, but maybe download a new show if you have a tablet. New toy, get them a new coloring book, get them a new activity, just something new that can keep them entertained because you could give them like a brand new, in Shepard's case, you loves Lightning McQueen. So I got him a new Lightning McQueen. Giving him that new Lightning McQueen will keep him satisfied for probably hours in the car because he just loves Lightning McQueen. And so when he gets a new one, it'll just be like, oh my gosh, I have a new one. I'm so excited. So I'll show you the couple of things that I got and hopes to keep him entertained on our car ride. So Shepard loves the water well, although he has kind of been um, not grounded, <laughs> but we have not been um, encouraging the water well recently because he's learned to take the thing apart and drink the water out. 
and pour it out and stuff like that. So we've been on a little bit of a water wow break. <laughs> Decided that we would reintroduce it, but now that I can say, do not take that out, like he can understand. So we got him the vehicles one. You will notice the theme. Shepard loves all things cars, all things vehicular. That's his jam right now. And if you're unaware of what water wow is, you fill this little pin up with water and then there's all these pictures inside and you color it and it exposes color and then when it dries it turns back white it's pretty magical something we've gotten him before but we've never gotten him one just like this is the restickable stickers we got him the paw patrol one a long time ago and it had like puff stickers and they just got so sticky like it just wasn't my favorite thing so this one is actual like sticker stickers like sheets of stickers and then on each page it opens up to a, like a place that you can put them and make all these like little pictures with so that's an airport and this one is ooh, a construction site I'm assuming yeah so stuff like that so he can stick and unstick and restick you can put them on like the windows and they don't like peel off and you know when you peel stickers off the annoying part when they get they like rip and stuff it literally says great for travel at the top i grabbed him a new set of crayons because we have some of these and i really love these specifically because they're triangular crazy art is not my favorite crayon brand i'm a crayola gal they were out of the crayola ones so i just got the crazy art ones the reason i like triangular crayons is because they don't roll so I can lay them out on his little tray that he has to go over his car seat or when we go out to eat I can lay them and they're not rolling on the floor I'm not constantly have to pick them up I will probably still have to do that but it's a little bit less frequent because these cannot roll so instead of trying to like ground up all the crayons misplaced all over this house that happen to be triangular I just went ahead and bought a fresh pack. We just recently went to go see the monster trucks. And since then, Shepard has been all about the monster trucks. Oh my goodness. He is like just collecting monster truck after monster truck. So that's just where his little heart is happy is carrying around monster trucks all the time. So I did get him, uh, I actually got him three new monster trucks. One of them is in the car, but I got him a Hot Wheels monster truck and then a monster jam. And some of this stuff I will divide. He will get some of it on the trip to Florida and then he will get the rest of it on the trip back so that it is it's new there and then he has a fresh set of new stuff on the way back. This is going to be the thing he's the most excited about because Shepard loves Lightning McQueen. He his favorite movie is Cars. It has been his favorite movie. Uh, as soon as 101 Dalmatians went away it pretty much turned into Cars and it kind of like went back and forth between Toy Story and Winnie the Pooh but it always went back to Cars and he literally says Cars in his sleep. This morning he was talking about Cars in his sleep. Kid is obsessed. He does have a Lightning McQueen that we got at Disney World a couple of trips ago. That's a remote control car, but the fender's all broke and sharp. So I saw this at Walmart and it talks so I got him this and I know he's just gonna love, this is gonna give him hours of entertainment. And I have two different sets of these as well. I got a Top Gun Maverick set. This is the fire rescue set of little cars. Shepard has two of these books already and this is the first time I've seen this one. This is the things that go. He's gonna love this because it's cars. This is such a fun little book. If you are not really into electronic stuff, if you like more of like hands-on, like simple stuff, still consider these because they're great because they teach you how to say all these different words with a picture and stuff like that. It's a voice. This is also a bilingual tablet little thing. I don't know what this is called. Like a, it's just a leapfrog book. If that's something you're interested in. That's cool. We're just trying to get English down right now and we will work on Spanish later. Also, while we're there, we're finally going to get to see Sarah and Peter Brookhart. Um, if you don't know who they are, they're some of our dear friends and we have not seen them since before our kids were born. Sarah and I were both pregnant at the exact same time. Our due dates were like six days apart and our kids were born about 10 days apart. We haven't gotten to hug each other since, you know, before all the crazy stuff happened. So it's finally lining up that we're gonna finally get to see each other and we're so, so excited. Her youngest, she has two boys and one of them is turning one while we're there. So we grabbed him a little gift there. So I'll show you that really quick. So these are just simple little, little gifts. Um, we got James uh, little stickers. I got Shepard some of these too. We got James a set of the crayons as well. 
with a coloring book, just a Mickey coloring book. And then we got him a set of the, what's it called, magic ink? Oh, Imagine Ink, the thing that you can draw on the paper and it turns different colors, but it's ink free. So he could draw on his clothes and it would not make a mark. We got Teddy, a Imagine Ink that only has one color. We thought James could benefit from having the multiple color pens and Teddy just kind of needed that one. I got him a set of stickers as well. And then I got him this little, little tablet thing that has all the letters and stuff like that. Never got one of these for, I think, his first Christmas or first birthday, and he still plays with it. It is coming with us to Disney because he loves it. So I decided to grab her little one, one of those two. So for right now, I am just going to try to get all this in the car and then I'll show you like how we have our car packed and like what we've got going on in the back seat for Shepard. It's still not finished, so I'll just show you what we've got. And then I'm gonna try to finish doing the laundry and I'm going to try to rest for a minute. But this is what our travel day before Disney looks like. Just a lot of last minute stuff, going through everything, making sure I've got everything done. I need to probably go upstairs and make a few more pairs of ears to go with some of my outfits and then I should be good. But I will see y'all in a little bit. I need to sit down for a minute and like get my train of thought back. All right, y'all, it is quite some time later. It is 7.30. Jared is picking up some Mexican food and he is on his way back. Uh, someone messaged us and said to eat a high carb, no, a low carb, high protein meal before you leave and it'll help you from getting sleepy. So I just get chicken fajita meat and, um, I don't know what Jared will get, but that's what I'm going to get because I'm going to be driving most of the stretch, um, just because Jared's Daddy. just getting off work. Shepard is home and he found all of his stuff. Daddy. I didn't even get it in the car yet because I took a nap immediately. He, he's already broken into all this stuff and he Daddy. is excited. Okay. Hey. Daddy. Okay, we will when we get in the car, baby, okay? Sure, I got a lot of stuff lined up. Went straight for the cars. All the rest of it was second choice, but immediately to the cars, huh? Who's that? Huh? Who's that? And Queen. What'd he say? Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna round all this stuff up for him and get it in the car and I'll show you what we've got going on in the car. My in-laws are here. They just dropped Shepard off and they're helping. We've been cleaning out our garage slightly, so we had a lot of stuff out in the yard looking real crazy over here <laughs> and so they're helping us put it back in the garage just so um it won't get crazy while we're gone i'm just so tired i'm trying to get my strength off i'm not somebody that naps oh something else that i did which i'm sure you know how to do but you just might need a reminder because this is me i know i need to do it but i forget to do it and once you leave like you need that reminder make sure yeah. Yeah. that you get all of your movies if you don't have a hot spot which we do have a hot spot but we leave it at home you get your movies downloaded so I downloaded a ton of movies to Shepard's tablet. So these are all the movies we have downloaded. He's got like two days worth of movies on here. So he has plenty downloaded for the way there and on the way back. All right, I had a last minute Amazon package come in and I got this shirt. Look how cute this shirt is. I love it so much. Um, but I'm already packed and I don't, I don't really have a day that I'm going to wear this for this trip. So I'm just going to leave it here because it needs to be washed and I will probably wear it next time, but I will still link it below if y'all are interested. Okay. I'm going to go over the setup of like how we've got things going on in our car. So this is jam packed. I need to probably take a little bit of it out because I don't want it to be too much because too much just becomes hectic and chaotic. So I'm going to work with that, but I'll show you what I've got in there right now. So we have everything broke down into an essentials basket and then into an entertainment basket. The entertainment basket is right besides his car seat that still needs. We took all the stuff off of his car seat and washed it so he would be fresh to sit in it. That's got to be put back together before we go. But his entertainment basket is right beside him. And then this is down here where I can read and grab it or whoever's right there that's not driving can reach it and easily access it so in the essentials basket we have a whole thing of diapers a brand new pack of diapers i just took out and sat in there on this side i have two different baby wipes this one is just a cheap brand from dollar general that i got to like clean up messes that he spills or in the car seat stuff like that and then he's got a hello bella brand that I use like on his skin. And then I have a whole pack of emergency passies tucked away in this really cute like Buzz Lightyear. This is from Bumpkins and we have a whole set of these and I love them. And then over here is the snack side. So we have all different pouches and we have little leather, fruit leather strips. This is our emergency stash. Of suckers. We don't usually have to break those out, but 12 hours in the car, we might use a sucker or two. Um, we do muffins, the mini muffins. We have some raisins. We have the 
bunnies, different bunnies. We have the gummy bunnies and then the cheddar bunnies and then the cookies and cream bunnies and all kinds of stuff. These are from Aldi and they are the PB&J bites. Shepard also loves these fig bars. We have them in raspberry and in blueberry. So we have all that down here so I can grab that quickly. And when we change him in the car, we lay him right here. So that way the diapers are just right there. We can lay him down, change him, and everything's just right here at our fingertips. So Shepard's entertainment basket was a little bit more organized till I went and shoved all that stuff I just got in here. Okay, something I grab are pencil case boxes. And for this, it's how I contain things like his cars, like things that he'll have a lot of and I just need to keep them together. So crayons, markers, cars, any little pieces, Legos. I've seen where you can hot glue a little Lego strip here and you could have the little pieces. He's not to the point of Legos yet, but I will keep that in mind one day. In here, we have a little coloring tray, which I actually think I will take this out because I don't I don't think he'll use it. Um, we've had this for a long time. He's never really used it. I might leave it in here. Now I'm going to take it out. I don't, I, that's one thing I'm learning to do is not pack the what if. So I'm going to take this out to make more room. Wow, that makes it so much better already. Okay, so in here we have um, those stickers that I said that I got. I have his monster trucks because they're too big to fit in the pencil box. So I just have those out where he can grab them. I have an, a tiny little mini Etch-A-Sketch and his new pack of crayons. I have the bag of the magic markers, like the Nesfree markers to color. And I have... A pack of crayons of all different ones so he uses these sometimes this is definitely a what if i will bring just in case these are his headphones for his tablet sometimes he'll wear them and sometimes he won't but they're charged and here ready to go okay something i grab because we have a bunch of stickers with us is just a plain composite book it's brand new i just got it yesterday for him to put his stickers in or draw or color or pretend to write his name he loves to write. We have a tiny little coloring book. This is a tablet that he loves. Well, he has kind of two in here like this, but he loves them so much. He has this one. Those both have fresh batteries and I'm ready to go. He always, always draws on this little tablet. You draw on it and then you push the button and it clears it. So, and then we've got some coloring book, brand new dinosaur sticker book. This is a whole sticker book. And then two cars books, and then his tray that will go on his car seat for him to have like a flat desk. Jared is just now getting home. Woo, all right, we better wrap things up and get ready to go. All right, I'm gonna head inside and try to get cleaned up the little bit left that we have left. We've gotta put the car seat back together. And I need to grab a trash bag to keep in here. One thing I always keep in here is a trash bag. Collect all our trash because there's already enough stuff in here. The last thing you need is trash everywhere. <music> peanut butter and jelly station set up. I see them. Um, oh, those cars need a bath because they took a bath in lemonade earlier. Go give them to daddy and tell him that they need a bath. I've got a peanut butter and jelly station happening right now because we had some bread that needed to be used and I just don't want to have to stop at like fast food the whole way there. So this will be a great little snack to grab Shepard that'll fill him up, give him a little bit of protein and fill his little belly up and hopefully make the trip a little bit easier. So we're just gonna make little Mickey shaped uncrust homemade uncrustables. And um, this is really cool. I got this off Amazon. It came with a, cu a couple of different ones, but it, I got it because it obviously had a Mickey. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I've never used it before, but I've had it for a long time, but we'll see how all that works. The house is decently clean. We still have a few things here and there, but for the most part, everything's picked up. I'm ready to go. I and Jared both cannot stand coming home to a messy house. So that is like our top priority when we're getting ready to go on a trip is making sure our house is clean before we leave. We have got um, everything in the car. It's loaded. Jared just got the car seat put back together and Shepard is asleep because we didn't know if we were gonna leave right when Jared got off work or if we were gonna try to rest a little bit. But Jared is like kicking right now, he's ready to go. 
And so while he still has energy and I'm sleepy, we're gonna go ahead and leave so that Jared can drive a little bit of the way and I can sleep in the car. And then when he starts to get sleepy, we'll trade off. But Shepard is already asleep, so we're just gonna transfer him to his car seat. And yeah, we're about to hit the road. So I hope that this video helped you. I hope that it made getting ready for your long road trip with your toddler and your family a little bit easier, gave you some ideas, and just let you know that you are not the only one that is running around crazy the day before you leave. It is always for us a very stressful, hectic, busy day the day before we leave, but today actually was not that bad. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. <laughs> We've got to go get Shepard in the car Well, I've seat. got my like last little burst. Or... Yeah, we're going to try to get some miles on the road, and we have promised ourselves if we get tired, we will stop because now we have to not only think about our safety, but Shepard's safety, so if we get tired, we will stop and sleep at a hotel, but uh, we will try to get as far as we can tonight, and then we will kind of play it by ear. But anyways, I hope this helped, <laughs> and um, we will see you in our next one.